Hey everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the first episode of season five of Outlander. So I do have some explaining to do because I have been getting messages both on Twitter and Tumblr, well not both, actually another one, and on YouTube about why I didn't do Outlander. So to start this off, I have an explanation to why I just didn't watch Outlander. Okay, first off. I I went back and I watched season four, and don't get me wrong, I really did enjoy season four, but I don't know, like, I remember going back and I just, I don't know, and it, there's a lot of drama in the Outlander community, I'm not sure, I'm not going to bring it any, like, too much up, but some of it has been dragged to me and, like, a lot of people are just sending me messages and it really just really put down my mood of Outlander, especially with the whole thing that apparently Sam and Kate have apparently been dating I don't know I don't keep up with that stuff and I mean if they're dating they're dating what just leave them be and if they're not leave them alone you know what I mean and that sort of just bugged me down and I wasn't too excited to react to it so I was like eh, I might not just react to it but then everybody started messaging me and I was like oh shit I need to put my reaction out so yeah and in all honesty I wasn't too excited for season five but I mean a lot of people have been asking for it so I thought you know what I'll just give it a try and if I don't enjoy it I will stop reacting to it so just know that if I do not like it I won't react to it because this trimester for uni is so busy and trust me <laughs> I would like to get into how hard it sometimes is to do reactions because sometimes I'm late late at night doing reactions, I'm early in the morning doing reactions, just so I can get stuff out for my amazing, like, people who follow me, but at the same time, I have to sacrifice a lot of sleep and stuff to edit and do all my stuff, so you guys gotta understand, like, I also have to put my university first, as much as I want to put my channel first, I've gotta put university first, so if I do not like Outlander, I will have to stop you know, reacting to it. But I will do my best to obviously react to them. So please be understanding of that. And again, I'm sorry for starting it late, but it's better late than never. So let's just jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. <laughs> Oh, this kind of gives me the feels because two of my cousins are also getting married this year as well. And like, I always get emotional when that happens because I'm very close with my cousins. So every time a cousin gets married, I'm like, because <laughs> they're just moving on to another part of their life. Character development <laughs> since last season. Would have been nice to kind of have like a little bit of build up towards that in this episode, but oh well. Because it seems like they've had some time to kind of like get back like onto the same level that they were as before that incident from last season. Yay! Oh, that's such a lovely place to have a wedding. Yeah, I'd love to get married, like, in the open air, in a nice place, with nice weather. Thank you so lastly. Oh. No! You do not- Fuck! <laughs> I have- Oh! They look like babies! What? Oh, why would you just spring a throwback on me like this? Whoo! I'm not ready. I actually am not ready. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's been so long. I need to go back and watch season one. <laughs> Yay! Oh, so many memories. Yeah, congratulations, but... I'd like to see more before I fall in love with the couple because I still have some feelings about them from last season. Oh. He wants to go back. Yeah, that might. Yeah. 
Just gonna soften it because I don't want to get. But um, that might be mixed feelings for Brianna because she obviously wants to stay near um, Claire and Jamie. <laughs> Embrace her already, god damn it! <laughs> oh god, please don't tell me it's gonna be some like compilation of everybody having sex or something, I swear to god. Uh oh! Is Marcy pregnant again? Oh, yes! Oh, yay! Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I love it. Oh! Yeah. Oh, I like how Roger's not kind of like forcing Brianna to do anything. They're kind of like doing it at their own pace. Oh my lord! Okay, Jesus! <laughs> oh, but they're so cute. I keep forgetting that they're like in, I think, it, like in their 40s or 50s. Jesus! Looking very good for that age. I will definitely say that. Woo! Oh, I actually think they're really cute. Wait, pause. Um, because I did, like, I was so, like, again, like, I remember when Young Ian, like, you know, Young Ian, like, traded himself for Roger to the, um, to that tribe, and then, you know, straight away it jumped to them, the, like, this cute couple having, like, a moment, and then they suddenly ended up in bed, and I was like, what? My brain is not, no, my brain wasn't registering it. And yeah, a lot of people were saying you could feel the sexual tension. I felt the sexual tension afterwards when I went back, when I wasn't so emotional. So yeah, I do agree with people who did say that there was sexual tension between them. And I feel like, I know a lot of people were complaining about them, like, being together, but I was like, I actually really think that they're a cute couple, and <clears throat> I was kind of hoping that they would kind of, like, establish more of their relationship in this season, which it looks like they will be. So, yeah, anyway, I'm excited to see more of these two. Um, and? Be with Murta. Be like Claire and Jamie. Risk everything. No! No! Come on! Yeah. Yeah, this is what I- Okay, pause. This is what I don't like about Aunt Jocasta because- And she reminds me of so many people in my life who, like, make assumptions before, like, asking the actual person what they're going through or, like, what they're thinking. I hate people like this. So this is why, and sometimes I really don't like her and I don't know what she's thinking of because I'm just like, don't go there. <laughs> so that's why I don't like her sometimes, but anyway. What? He's gonna wear the kilt? Yes. <laughs> Season 1 feelings! This just makes me want to rewatch the, the original, just like the first season. Wow. But no? Can there just not be a fight, please? A Jamie must understand how tiring it must be for Murta. Don't say go, give him a hug! Look how hurt he looks! No! Give him a hug! Give him a hug! Why did they bring Murta back if he is only going to be there for one episode in this season? Aww. Oh, okay. <sighs> what an episode. Um, I will start off by saying that, um, I mean, I guess it's because I haven't watched it in so long, but I guess it's like, 
also that feeling where it's just I feel I don't know. I feel like there's a bit of disconnect between Jamie and Claire still because I was kind of reading this one girl I follow on Tumblr about what she was saying and she said they've written Claire and Jamie's characters a little bit different this season especially with episode one and she was saying that you know we kind of see that like the old Claire only when she's like a healer and I was kind of worried about that and I did notice that like she is very different especially when she's talking either to Brianna or she's talking to Jamie and um even to Roger so she like I don't know why I mean I'm not blaming Kate but I'm not sure I'm not sure why, like, she's cho- choosing to kind of, like, only show that old version of um, Claire in certain scenes. So that's why I'm not sure why. And even with Jamie, Jamie's kind of changed, but I feel like he's still the same. Like, even though I am judging a lot of what he's kind of, like, deciding against, especially the fact that, you know, he told murta that he was released from his like vow and yes that's understandable obviously you get to a certain edge and a vow can be released from but in this sense like i can understand if murta kind of feels betrayed because of the fact that you know he promised jamie that he would always be there for him like it promised him from literally when he was a kid throughout his whole like teenage adult life he was there but then Jamie has never kind of, like, returned that favour to him. So that's something I've always worried about. And I worried about it in season four as well, before. Um, and uh, that kind of does concern me in, in, like, I guess. But I really hope that they have a good reason as to, like, why that's happened. Like, I hope, because I know lots of people were telling me, like, last season that... Um, Myrtle was only brought back because of popular demand from the fan base, not because he was in the books. Like, he died, like, earlier on. Um, so that's why I was kind of like, mmm... Like, that's pretty dangerous, because that's changing the course of a lot of what happens in the story. So, as someone who hasn't read the books, um, I still am kind of worried, because I just, I don't want it to be like fake even though i haven't read the books i want it to be authentic and for them to stick to what everybody else enjoys because i want the readers to enjoy it and i've all, i've spoken about this all the time like do justice for the people who are fans of the books and yes do small parts for the fans who are only fans of the tv who haven't like tv show who haven't obviously read the books so that's kind of worrying and again like i'm I'm <laughs> I'm personally a little bit worried for myself as in coming into this season 5 because I wasn't too excited and again I've just kind of had a negative like opinion about it mainly because of the people who've been badgering me for the past couple of months and weeks about the whole Sam Kate thing and I was just like I really can't be bothered dealing with all that and then also like I don't know like even when I watched like season 4 I was like do I really want to react to it because like I'm not going to thoroughly enjoy it, but I will say that the old feelings of my love for Outlander did come back, especially when they did the throwback. Oh, I think people are coming, so I have to finish up quickly. Um, uh, again, I thoroughly... So again, quickly, I enjoyed this episode, but I don't know, I did feel like a little bit disconnected from these characters, and I hope as the episodes go on, we do feel a little bit more connected, and again... I feel a lot of disconnect from Claire. Um, she's so different from what she used to be, you know. Like, she was known as, like, this funny, sexy, really kind, caring woman. In any moment, like, ever. Ex- like, a, not just as when she's a healer. So I'm hoping that she's, like, she's gonna show that more throughout the rest of the series when she's not being a healer. So I hope that we get to see that more a bit later. But anyway, I'm going to quickly finish up because I think there are pe- this I have family coming over, so I think they're coming now. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Outlander. I know I'm way behind and I'm literally going to film the next episode. Quickly, quick, 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 quick. have to quickly say. Um, yeah, again, I'm so sorry that I didn't react to it. You know my feelings and yeah, I might talk about it more in the next episode when I react. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Crazy being out. Woo!